All right, guys, we're ready for sample number three. So let's get started. Let's dive right on in. All right, sample number three. Look, look at this. This looks like pretty flat. Look at that. Looks like a little flat sheet there, and you can see some cool layering. I'm going to zoom it in. Look at that zoom in. Look at that. Definitely. So that right here is what I'm holding in my hand, this guy. And then I put some pictures on here uh, from other samples where it looks a little bit different colored. And the cool thing about this rock is sometimes when it's exposed to the air, the outside of it gets a little brown. And so again, remember when we talked about minerals and how minerals can change colors when they're when they react with the um, outside environment. Well, some of the minerals in this rock do that. And so that's where you get this little color different, different um, difference in samples there. Look at that. But anyway, but doesn't matter because we can still identify the rock using our cool charts and our key. So let's go straight here. Oh, wrong one here. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, let's start again. Which one do we start with? One. All right, here we go. If the rock is made up of minerals that you can see, go to 2A. If the rock is made up of minerals you cannot see, go to 5A. Well, look at this guy. And if I look here, I cannot see those minerals. Just looks kind of like a solid, solid rock, right? Like just, yeah, nope. So I would go, say we're going to go here to 5A. So we're going to go straight to 5A. Remember, we're going to skip 2, 3, and 4. So go to 5. If the rock is either glassy or frothy and has small holes in it, it's igneous. And if the rock is made up of strong flat sheets that look as though they will split into slate-like pieces, it's metamorphic. Uh, yeah, look at that. Looks like this little top right here could just like cut right there off. Yeah, perfect. So let, I would definitely say it's 5B then. All right, so then let's put our answers here. So we've got 1A, uh, and then what do we do? Do we go straight to 5B? 5B, I believe. 1A and then 5B. There we go. Metamorphic. Look at that. Morphic. There. I got, I got it. All right. There we go. All right. Now let's go to our metamorphic rock table. Okay. So now, is it layered? Well, yeah, it looks like, definitely looks like there are sheets there. Yep, definitely. So now we're, we've got it slate, schist, or nice. Um, and then the next one here, well, the first thing that we looked at was the grain size, right? And we said immediately that it was fine-grained. So definitely fine-grained. Well, that eliminates these guys right away. So then it puts it as slate. Well, let's just make sure. Slate also will break into layers. Yep, that looks like it would do this. That's right. So yes, this is slate. And so if you've seen like slate, the old school writing, what they used to write on in those old school um, classrooms, then you take your chalk and write on them. That's what these slate tablets. Yeah, pretty cool, right? That's what these are. Yeah, so that's what this rock is. So let's go back here. And so what were our observations? We said it was layered fine-grained, and then we said it would break into layers. That's right. And then we said it's slate. Good job, guys. Good job. I know you got that one. All right. Next, sample four. Look at this cool thing. Isn't that cool? I love this one. So fun. All right. So this one here, sample four. Oh, look, I put a note on there that it does not react to acid. Giving you a little hint because since I don't have um, acid here to drop on here and to show you, uh, I'll just tell you it doesn't react to any acid. Okay, so let's go here and get a good look at it. All right, start back up here. Number one, the rock is made up of minerals that you can see, or the rock is made up of minerals that you cannot see. Definitely can see, especially here. Actually, I'm going to like move that over here because this sample is really good to look at. I'm going to move it this way. There we go. Look at that. That way we can kind of look at this guy. Uh, that definitely can see because we can see those different ones. Um, so we go to 2A. 2A. If the rock is made up of minerals that are melted together, go to 3A. If the rock is made up of minerals that are stuck together, 
go to 5a. And so this is a perfect example of one that looks like it's stuck together. So you definitely think it looks like we're just kind of got pushed together. Um, and you can see like, oh, if I just take my fingernail, I can just pop this one out and pop this little pebble out. And that's what, it, what, that's what we kind of look at as, as seeing like stuck together. And so definitely stuck together. So then that means, oh, we're going to go to 6a. 6a. If the rock is made up of silt, sand, fossils, or pebbles that look like they're cemented together, it's kind of exactly what it looks like, right? It looks like a big old chunk of your of your cement out there got um, broken off and you're holding it in your hand there. But either one, that would be sedimentary. The other one, if the rock is not made of sand, silt, or pebble, but fizzes when acid is poured on it, it's still sedimentary. But So this is definitely a sedimentary rock. So this is a perfect cool example of that. Remember we talked about all the sediments, like when we talked about the rock cycle? Look at all these little individual sediments that got pressed together over time and then cemented together. And that's like a really good, this is a good example of that. All right, so let's go here. So what did we say it was? 1A, 2B, and then 6A, I believe. So sedimentary, 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 whatever. It's fine. Depends on where you, where you went to school, it's fine. We're in the Midwest here. We got this. We can call it whatever we want. Still same thing. <laughs> All right, next. Now let's figure out which one it is. Sediments right here. Oh, there we go. Why did I move that over there? I don't want to move that over there. Look at this. Messing it up. I told you it's going to be rocky here. Going back and forth. I don't want that one. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull this up here. I want this one. And then I want this one. I'm going to drag and drop this one over there. Got it. Okay. All right. So, does it contain fragments? It definitely contains fragments. Are they round or are they angular? And then, oh, look at that. Or does, does none of those pertain to it? Well, look at here. And if you see here, look at those rounded. It looks like all of these here are rounded, rounded. And if you also look at this one right here, this has kind of been cut in there. All of those are nicely round. Look at that. Definitely looks rounded. And so the rounded means, rounded fragments means it's conglomerate. And that is right. So this, we go here. And we're going to put fragments, rounded. And remember we said it does not, all right, uh, sorry, yep. Does not react to acid. And then, ah, conglomerate. There we go. Conglomerate. Okay. All right. So, sample four. Done. All right, next, sample five. Look at this. All right, sample five. Oh, look at this guy. All right, this is really fun. Yay. Look at him. Really cool there, right? Yeah. And so this is another example we'll have of where when it's exposed to the environment, some of the outside can turn a little bit brown. But like if you would kind of sand that off and shine it up a little bit, you kind of get this guy here. And so I kind of put those on there so that we could so that you have an idea of what that is. But let's kind of look and we can it doesn't matter, we can use both pictures and identify it just as well. All right, let me see. Let me get the other one up. There it is. Here we go. Moving it over here. I'm gonna move it to this one. Look at this. I'm messing it all up here. Ah. Move this here. Maybe I move it here. Move that there. Move it up here a little bit there. Now we can see both of them together at the same time. Boom. That just gives you a little bit more time to think. All right, number one. Is the rock made up of minerals you can see? Go to 2A. You can't see? Go to 5A. Well, I even looking here, I'd have to look at a magnifying glass here to really see them. So I would definitely say that these are things that, these are made up of minerals that we cannot see. So 1B, and then we're going to go to 5A. All right. If the rock is glassy or frothy, it's igneous. And if the 
Rock is made up of strong, flat sheets that look as though they will break, split off into slate-like pieces. It's metamorphic. Now here's the thing. This one's kind of hard. But if you could actually look at this pretty, in, like, really close up, and I tried to show it here, that there's actually tiny little holes in it. And it actually does look like it's got those frothy holes. And so that's what we're looking at when we're talking about frothy, is where that air got trapped in that cooling magma, and the air got trapped in, and that's what made those little holes, the bubbles. And so that tells us that it's an igneous rock. And so 5A, um, igneous rock. Remember, the uh, cooling of the magma or the lava makes your igneous rock. And so when it cools, if some of the air gets chucked in there, we get those bubbles. All right, so let's go here to sheet. What did we say? 1B and then 5A and then igneous. All right, now let's go try to identify it. Which one is that one? I'm just going to memorize it here. All right. Okay. Igneous. Is it fine-grained or coarse-grained? Definitely fine-grained, we said. So obsidian, rhyolite, andonite, or andesite, or basalt, or pumice. Whew, a lot of options here, but it's okay. We're just going to narrow them down. All right, next one. Okay, well, obsidian is very glassy. Well, this doesn't look glassy to me. This looks pretty matte, if that's... Yeah, so this is definitely not glassy. So I think we can eliminate this. Okay, so what did we say here? Next one, rhyolite and andesite. Well, andesite may have pyrite in there. And then basalt is mostly dark uh, and then reacts to acid. Uh, and I will, oh, I didn't even tell you that one too. But yes, this, uh, this guy here does react to acid. If I could take a little drop of acid and put it on here, this guy's actually going to start fizzing and coming out. But I don't have any hydrochloric acid here at home. But so, but this guy would react to acid. So that would help us tell us here that it that it could either be a basalt or andesite. Now look here. So let's see. Mostly dark would be basalt, and that wouldn't be the case for here. And it would have pyrite if it's andesite. Well, I don't see any pyrite in there. Remember pyrite, that fool's gold? And I don't really see any of that here. It doesn't look like there's gold. So, but it is mostly dark. And so from all of these, I would definitely classify this and identify it as basalt. So let's go back to here. Let's go back to our table here. Oh, there we go. This one, what did we say it was? Fine grained, mostly dark, reacts to acid, and we identified it as basalt. Yes, basalt. All right, let's go to sample six. Look at this guy. Pretty cool. <gasps> look at this. Let's see, let's zoom in, see if you can see how sparkly. Oh, <gasps> look at this. <gasps> like a twilight vampire sparkles and reacts to acid all right number seven number seven oh, look at this guy look at that so again pause this where you need to in the video and use your chart okay number eight I like this one. This one's pretty cool. All right. Nine. Look at this. Big key there. Look at that right there. Look at these things right here. What are those? Those look to me like they're little fossils. Look like little indentations there. A little bit of fossils in there. My little help y'all. Yeah, a little, little hint, a little hint reacts to acid and the last one oh, look at this guy it's really light and it's very scratchy looks very frothy this is what we think of as frothy look at that looks like i might want to use this to do a little exfoliation there huh little hint all right
Thank you. Have fun. Be good, be kind, be awesome, and recycle.